Hello. We're here at Jimmy's farm and we are going to make some mocktails. We are making mocktails. Mm -hmm. What are the core ingredients, apart from the obvious, for those that don't know, lemon, lime, you knew that, mm -hmm. plastic cups, paper straws, yes. watermelon, and what is over here? So what we've got is, we've got a bit of grenadine, which is a kind of sugary, fruity syrup. So you've got some strawberry, raspberry, yep. black currant, and something else. I, I'm guessing it doesn't make up five, five a day, does it? No, and you only need an absolute splash. So what we're going to do is, firstly, we're going to make a orange sunrise, because we do mocktails. It, we've lost the tequila. So what you do is just a splash of grenadine in the bottom. Only a little bit. Okay. Right. And then on top of that, you need to pour the orange and try and make it look like a sunrise. So the idea is the orange juice floats on top. Yeah, kind of like oil. So what do you think? Do you think the, the skill is to pour long and high or short? Sue, who's behind the camera, short. is, is saying short pour short. Down the side. Down. Middle down the side. Apparently. Now stand it up straight. I don't think it's worked. It's not bad. So you've got a little bit of the core ingredient at the bottom yeah. and the orange juice is supposed to float on top, so it's, it looks a bit like oil. Yeah, oil oil, it's, it? it's, it's not quite how it looks online, but it would do. Yeah, sure, but you know, sure online can nice. sometimes be deceiving. Yeah, no it can be, that, 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 that is it. true. And it's probably the orange juice. Oh uh, yeah, it's the fault with the orange juice, that's why. Yeah. Next, can we go drink it now? Yeah, well, that's essentially it. We're so, going to put some fruit in? Yeah, we can do. So we've got. A little bit of lemon, why don't we put that in? And we've got a little bit of lemon to put in, so we just chuck that in. Maybe a little bit of lime. I stirred it all round now, so I've killed the moment. Okay. We've lost the sunrise. Cut there goes the straws as well. Yeah. Bit of lime, do you want a bit of watermelon in there? Mm, watermelon looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks, It looks so promising. I prefer the watermelon um, sugar beans, candy beans. No, the ones that taste it. Never mind. Christmas is coming. Hurry up! <laughs> I've got a birthday in a month. When did that and orange juice go. go off? Right, quick. There you Am go. I, shall I, may I? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. It's ri <laughs> it's sweet. <laughs> I'll give you that. Yeah. And there isn't yeah. the warmth that if, you know, if you've tried them with alcohol, and maybe you shouldn't have done, but if you yeah. have, you'll know that the warmth would kick you at the back of the throat. It you don't get that. that. But your voice goes up several octaves because there's now, <laughs> you're about, I'm about 50% sugar now, whereas before I wasn't. But actually, it tastes quite nice. <laughs> I reckon that'd be quite nice if you, if you put that in one of those, um, one of those bags and froze it, that'd be quite yeah. nice. In the freezer, yeah. on a summer's day, in June, unlike today. <laughs> yeah. No, that would be nice, and especially if you have it properly over ice. Oh, that'd be nice. a bit like maybe a slush puppy. Little, yeah, a bit like a slush puppy. And maybe even if you put in a bit of lemonade, it will just make it a bit more fizzy. Slush. Right, shall we make our second one? Yeah, go on. Right. Let's make me 100% sugar content. Yeah, this one is a lot more sugary. <laughs> right, so we have another glass. Yeah, go on. More grenadine. Yeah, I'll hold the glass because it's windy. And the cow, I don't think you can hear the cows in the background. Yeah, but they're, they're on the march noisy. and they're coming this way. So yeah, let's get moving. Up. Right. And so we just have some ginger ale. It always sounds more interesting than yeah. it actually is ginger ale, doesn't it? I, I personally don't like ginger, so. Don't you? No. Quite, it is warm. If it, you ever feel if you ever feel warming. sick in the morning, or you feel sick, you know, sometimes you feel a bit queasy. Maybe right. I'll too many mocktails. Maybe. Actually, ginger, if you get some ginger cookies, some ginger biscuits, right. everything's got ginger in, there's something in it. It actually settles your tummy and you suddenly feel less sick. So if you next time you feel a little bit green, try a ginger cookie. Oh. It does work. Right, and now we also have some lemonade with lime and, lime and lemonade. Yeah. Some lemonade with lime and lemonade. That's a lot of lemonade. <laughs> in it goes. There you go, and that's it. Okay, I'm going to go for a green straw this time. Do you want any garnishes in it? Oh, go! Is it extra? Mm. Oh. Bit of a squeeze of lemon. You wash your fingers. Yes. Yeah. Trying to lift the glass. Need a JCB. 
and then that's it. That one is just... That's more subtle. Yeah. Yeah, I think the ginger cuts through it really quite nicely. It does, actually. Yeah. For someone that doesn't like ginger, you see? No, I know. You're pedalling backwards now on the old ginger front, aren't you? Hmm? But that is just grenadine with a bit of ginger ale and a lemon and lime lemonade. And that's it. Oh dear. See, I'm of a generation where we had food colouring. Right. We were built on stuff like this. <laughs> Didn't do me any yeah. harm. Yeah, I, I find it a little bit sweet. <laughs> right, so where do we find the recipes? In a bin, I would imagine. No, you can actually find them <laughs> on UKYC's uh, Instagram. So if you search for UKYC me, and you'll be able to find all of our mocktail recipes there, and a few more of this. See you soon. Five minutes later. Ellie, next to you, sick over the wall, whatever you've done to me, he's throwing up. Yeah, he's been sick over the wall. All that sugar. I'm not surprised.